All right, we're in round two. I just realized after match one that I should have sideboarded into Shambling Goblin. That was a big mistake. Shambling Goblin would have been really good against this deck. I'm sure someone mentioned that in the comments. It's okay. Let's keep this. This hand's not too shabby. Eh, it's actually pretty good. We have both colors of lands. Excellent distribution. of, And that was a great draw. Okay. This hand definitely looks good. Another black-red deck? Definitely play the Aspirant, because one toughness creatures are going to have a problem with it. And uh, it's just good. So let's get in. Definitely dropping the f here. Hopefully we don't get Seismic Ruptured, but we shall find out. If we do, I guess I'll play an Outrider. And I'll still have Cola Gans Command to get my guys back, so it's not the end of the world. Wandering Tomb Shell. Okay. That's actually fine. Yeah, in fact, I get to... It's pretty nasty, actually. Could just swing with Morph, I guess. I mean, I don't see how he doesn't block. Like, I don't want to have to use Coat with Venom. You know what I mean? And, like, the block here is just so good for me. Because I don't lose anything. I kill this guy and I deal damage to him. So, granted, I could have attacked with both, gotten in for six, used Coat with Venom, and killed his guy but now I have a coat with venom which I should have left up by the way but I have a coat with venom and next turn I guess I can dash all right not too concerned about that I have to think about the best way to do this. Guess I swing with both. I'm willing to lose my... Actually, yeah, swinging with both is just correct. So now if I do Coat with Venom, this is actually kind of crazy. Before this trigger goes off, I get Death Touch, too. This is pretty sick, actually. It's so nasty. It's so good. All right, I'm going to play the Outrider. Once again, this leaves me pretty vulnerable to Seismic Rupture, but I've got Coligan's Command to get back my f rate, so it's not even that bad. And the, the sheer quantity of pressure that it puts on is pretty substantial. Okay. <laughs> All right. Slam and Palace Siege. Could have done Warbringer Dash plus Hand of Silengar, but I'd rather just get a Palace Siege down now. It's going to be tough to recover from.
Opponent's got a lot of removal. Got to give him credit there. All right. Pretty strange deck otherwise, though. It's a lot of removal, and then, like, sprinting Warbrute and Wandering... Wandering Tombshell, I guess, is the only one that's out of place, but his removal suite is excellent. Bathe, Roast, Flatten, all very good. Um, that kind of makes me want to bring in Duress, actually. Just that sheer quantity of removal. Um, what do I want to bring that in for? Which I think is a reasonable question. I've never seen that Coligan Aspirant coat with Venom Synergy before. That was so sweet. If I do say so myself, I do like that. I've never, yeah, like I said, I've never seen that before, but that's that works really well. Um, so the question of what I cut for a duress, probably a collateral damage, I guess. Could be a Kindled Fury. Maybe having the burn is just better. Actually, collateral damage is better against his removal, too, because then it's like I leave one man up and I get a lightning bolt effect. Oh, you're going to kill my guy? Well, sack it. Deal damage to you instead. I kind of like that. I kind of want to keep the lose calm because we saw at least sprinting Warbrute. I think there's a good chance he's got some more like mid-rangey fat creatures since he didn't play any cheap creatures. So let's cut a Kindled Fury, I think I'll cut. I'd rather keep the coat with Venom as a way to boost the toughness versus removal. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Um, okay. Guess I'll run it like this. I mean, there was the Shambling Goblin option again, but now this deck does... Shambling Goblin doesn't seem that good against this deck until I see some power... Uh, you know, one drops or whatever. All right, I guess, yeah, I got to keep this. I, I can't really justify mulliganing this. If I get five mana, I get the old collateral damage lose calm synergy, which is sweet too. All right. Would not be a bad one to lose calm and collateral damage. I think for now we're just going to slam an Outrider and pass. Pretty high chance he's got removal, so I could have just dashed instead, but I don't mind playing the Outrider. Alright, so now we just lose Calm plus Collateral Damage. I don't want to trade my Outrider for the Morph since I'm going to blow that Morph up.
All right. We get to reach the shadows. Smash in again. Could have played the Palace Siege, I guess, but I'm going to get the 4 damage in instead. I think I just play Pal Siege and Pass. He has to attack with Sprinting Warbrood. He's only got one card left. And I'm at 20 life. All right, well, we got round two pretty soundly, so deck played really well for us when we got Pal Siege out both games. And opponent's deck was kind of a weird... You could tell he wanted to play a dash deck, and he basically ended up with an awesome removal suite and just a super lackluster creature. I mean, I shouldn't say super lackluster. Sprinting Warbrood is very good. I actually like Bloodfire Enforcers a lot. I think Stormcrag Elemental is very good. Uh, Tomb Shell and Sibsig Host are pretty questionable. I, I, Merciless Executioner is pretty good too. So it's it's basically like I can tell he was low on good playable creatures, and he's got a very good amount of good removal. But we we drew very excellent that game, and we even got to do the lose column collateral damage thing for pretty big value in my mind, since I got to lava axe him with his own creature and then kill both of them. So uh, that panned out well. We'll see in round three.